Dooski, it's your boy Phil34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Community. This one is season three, episode 14, and we are continuing the pillow forts versus blanket forts situation where Abed and Troy were beefing. It was brewing. It's cool to see them sort of have a drift in their friendship a little bit more and just testing uh, their relationship. So it's gonna be cool to see how that goes. Uh, also episode 12 and 13, we did the, the, the double bubble there. And uh, they were, <laughs> the first one was really funny. Uh, the whole situation where they were impersonating the celebrities was a lot of fun. Or I wanna see where, where uh, Troy and Abed's uh, civil war is gonna go. So as always, if you enjoy this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, y'all, let's get into this one. Yeet. <laughs> Greendale Campus Television Production. Between two groups of people who want to make inconsistent kinds of worlds, I see no remedy but force. Oh God. There was a point where- Why is there gunshots? And I started swinging, heard someone fall. Could have been somebody from my side. Who chose what side? In 2012, Greendale Community College was the site of the largest and longest pillow fight in community college Alex. history and forever changed the lives of those involved. Administration student who turned a storage room into a sanctuary for soldiers with broken glasses <laughs> and lightly grazed testicles. An amateur photographer whose borrowed camera would capture some of the war's blurriest, most poorly framed Bob. moments. The dried up heir to a moist towelette empire world who would prove to be <laughs> the dried up heir to a moist towelette empire became commander-in-chief of his own army. It was awesome, but also, it wasn't? And his socially dysfunctional best friend turned bitter rival. The rift in their friendship would carry their school into a conflict lasting mm -hmm. days, costing hundreds of dollars, and resulting in over 12 transfers. To make it this so there dramatic? <laughs> say, I don't get it. All right. Jeffrey, you have to come mediate Troy 4 and Abed. They look up to you. What's with the film crew? Oh, I am worried about that. If there's one thing I've learned at this place is that a phone crew means disaster. Okay, they... Neither of you has to apologize because what you're doing is equally ridiculous. So, you two, imaginary friendship hats that automatically make you friends again. Are we done? Sorry, Jeff, but this matter is a little more serious than that. No, Whoa. It's not. Your children. Hats off. Like the imaginary that. ones. I mean, it's fine, but just don't pretend it's anything but that. Friends so close, they once graced the cover of Friends. <laughs> they actually put together a, a whole documentary. This is their so own good. Design. New Fluffy Town. It's gold. To be a newer, no fluffier town fluffy. than Fluffy Town. I guess all hugs have to come to an end. When an opportunity arises for a world record, it creates a rift, using blankets for rapid expansion. Abed insists on pillows, declares the declaration this is so lame, good. stating that thinking records are dumb is stupid. He secedes from New Fluffy Town and begins constructing Blanketsburg on the other <laughs> side of the campus. Abed renames his fort Pillow Town for the sake of conceptual symmetry. Study room F, 3 p.m. Things quickly reach their boiling point. Watch it, left off. My name is Alex. <laughs> A softly lobbed hypoallergenic Sealy Select in the <laughs> And this is where it began. <laughs> it was later named the study room kerfuffle. Jeffrey, you're not mediating. Uh, Blankersburg says Pillow Town has until midnight tonight to surrender its territory. The United Forts of Peloton declines the request. Not a request. I'm giving you an all tomato, meaning that you give me the whole tomato or else. Or else. <laughs> That's what they meant by all tomato, all tomato. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> so you at midnight. This is so ridiculous. Go to classes. The be home late, sugar boots. I bet hurt Troy's feelings by being a robot. Need to stay with my boy to make sure Britt doesn't put him on the weed. Oh, Troy God. appoints Shirley Bennett as his second in command, at which point Pierce switches to Abed's side. Mm -hmm. There were those who thought that midnight might come and go, and well, I was in Korea, and I knew the sound of crap when it was about to hit the fan. You know what it sounded like? Silence. The campus holds its breath. Hey, we're all looking to chill out and lay down with someone special. This is real Neil with Pipe hey. to Steel. Sorry, <laughs> the smooth sounds of daybreak. Oh, man. Welcome back, Neil. It's been oh, a while. I gotta get this on film. Uh, did you hear that? Oh, my God. What the hell is that? <laughs> Found footage. 12 7 a.m. Blankensburg soldiers like charged a pillow fort in the library. You hit someone, and if they went down, you stop hitting them. Call that common courtesy. Blankensburg has drawn first blood. Pillow Town will draw first blood. Part two. Citizens of Blanketsburg, 
I understand I morale is low. To prepare for war. <laughs> and I asked Garrett to please fix the microphone on my laptop. It's doing that thing again. Each side attempting to kick down and replace the other. The unmoving line between them is a strip. Like I'm always just, I'm always just so impressed with how community just changes up form and just mimics different styles of, uh, you know, of genres, and they just do such a good job with maintaining the ridiculousness of the show, but also taking it with a slight, like, like, like taking the form very seriously. Ah, oh, it's so good. Britta Perry attempts to capture the war's sublime indignities on film. Battle of Big Bulletin Board. Pierce Hawthorne. The battle is broken big glasses, bulletin. a hurt finger, and erectile dysfunction. Even Jeff Winger, who before the war lacked interest in it, has now found a leading role. We fight not because we want war. Now we might gain peace. Yeah! Winger's crit nearly improvised hot button patriotic dogma in a Ferris Bullerian attempt to delay schoolwork. Yeah! Winger decries the accusation as quote a slanderous betrayal akin to 9/11. Her text conversations with Jeff Winger give us a glimpse beneath <laughs> the, the, the lost pennies and grody Q-tips of war's emotional toll. Thank you, Annie. I'm proud of you too, and of us all. Also wish the nightmare would end, but using what I'm given to give what I can. Just heard from one of Abed's soldiers that you gave an identical speech to troops at Pillow Town. WTF, sad face, special icon of a downward thumb. Jeff, you're disgusting. Troy and Abed's friendship is at stake. You can buy special icons and packages at the, the App Store. store. Piece of sushi, birthday cake, stop sign, snowman, umbrella. Troy Barnes will take no chances. What? He turns to Ben Chang, Greendale's chief of security, rumored to be literally psychotic. And <laughs> the troops are coming in. <laughs> One of the injured said they were making necklaces out of mattress tags. This is when things get as ugly as they can get. Under advice from his top general, Abed sees no choice but to unleash his doomsday device. What? Part pillow, carnage. It looks like a siren. <laughs> has transformed the Wandasian pillow man. Plush juggernaut. War won't stop with First Blood Part Two. It will escalate to Rambo Three. Facebook status update. Leonard likes this post. Troy will hold on until he's broken emotionally. He gets distracted by loud noises. Smooth red, jazz. Smooth jazz. Shiny things. Food smells. Music boxes. Hey Dick, read your dumb email. Really enjoyed it. And what I know, but you don't know, because you have mental issues, is that you're never going to have another friend. Because, all caps, nobody else will ever have my patience with you. That was a no cap. Word got around these two were now hurting each other's feelings. This has to stop. Tell him. Me? What about your email? You weren't supposed to see that. You weren't supposed to think those things. Guys, you were Troy and Abed. Things used to be easy. He's right. Our friendship is dead. What? Yeah. I think we should agree right now that whoever wins this war can stay in the apartment. Loser has to find a new place. Oh, this is we're going further with this. Both sides are armed Just and ready. After the end of the war begins. <laughs> oh shit! I thought you were see pictures. I feel like this one must have been a fun one to record too. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta get this this pillow pierce as an emote in the disco. That was too good. He's not coming. He's been fired in what he described as the world's biggest mistake. Anyway, it's over. What a colossal waste of two and a half days! The war has no more reason to continue. Come on, guys, let's wrap this up. I don't want to. Me neither. Why not? This is going to be the last thing we ever do together. Well, doesn't that kind of solve your problem? The realization that you like each other so much you'd hit each other with pillows forever? You use those magical friendship hats that I got for you. We're not stupid, Jeffrey. We know you made those sarcastically. Here's your magical friendship hat. Um, Jeff. What? You left the magical friendship hats at the dean's office. Yeah, continuity. Come on, man. Of course. <laughs> I was actually gonna wonder if he's had to go back to the dean's. He's gonna have to. He That's stayed out long enough to make them believe he had gone back to the office. Here you go. Lucky no one grabbed him, huh? 
Britta Perry is there to immortalize the moment on film, trying to get a picture of the light hitting a stack of nearby waffles. Today, I had to run and get two imaginary friendship hats from an office. We went all the way back to where they were supposed to be. One was crumpled up a bit. That was Troy's. The other was just a little dusty. That was Abed's. I fixed them up, even though I was the only one watching. That's always going to be true. I would do anything for my friends, which I think is how everyone in the world feels, which finally makes me understand war. That was actually a really sweet message. Wow. I've got goosebumps. You can't get Troy and Abed pillows and blankets. Or any of these other great specials, like Craig Pelton, A Year in Paris. From Labs <laughs> to Riches, The Annie's Boob Story. Or that's entertainment. Folks, we know you hate these constant pledge drives. You know you hate them, we don't love doing them. And that was my reaction video to Community Season 3, Episode 14. That was a reaction video. That was the Greendale Civil War. And uh, that was... <laughs> That was a pleasant surprise to see that they filmed that in like a documentary handheld recounting the war. And uh, I think it made for a special, you know, episode, obviously not just showing how they normally would and normally direct it. Uh, much more creativity was put into that one mocking that format. And I think it worked pretty well. And they still, and something that I appreciate too, is that they also still managed to sneak in, you know, the same sort of uh, message where Jeff usually pulls the team back together. I thought what was a sweet message of, you know, Jeff saying, well, you do anything for your friends and going all the way back to pick up the imaginary hat. So I thought that was actually really sweet. It ended off the episode on a decently emotional note but yeah i just thought the whole idea of it was so ridiculous to continue the civil war and make it like a mockumentary whatever it was the highlights had to have been uh just i think the execution of the concept i thought it worked really well uh it was engaging it was fun uh it didn't feel like it got too stale for me in my opinion uh like towards where it was borderline going to they decided to actually show a little bit more of the frames and they started then they showed in that sort of jeff and annie supply uh, which worked well and then just sort of came back in to save the day so i'm interested to see if abed's gonna if, if they're if the air conditioning people are gonna come back to to Abed later on or um, if that was just sort of like, like a one-off for this episode because I thought that could be pretty interesting maybe. That was Community Season 3 Episode 14. What do you think about this episode? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. This episode, for example, is one of the things that I really appreciate about Community. They go above and beyond to make this most ridiculous premise. Know the fine line of just making of just the, of balancing the most ridiculous plot like a pillow fight in a, between these two goofy characters but take it with the most seriousness and follow a, f and, and when they, when they're mimicking, you know, a format like a documentary, uh, like a war documentary, and they mimic it like to the T, but it works so freaking well. So uh, I actually really enjoyed that one. Anyway, with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one.